Let's all go to Cargonia, land of stolen things. Obey the quartermaster, unless he is a link. Cargo takes out the station, find more stuff to take. But the boss is never satisfied until the station breaks. Howdy folks, Tex of the Black Pence Legion here, and uh, this is Battletech. Most of you are familiar with this, having watched my channel and probably joined it for Tex Talks Battletech, but this is the Battletech Hairbane Schemes game from 2018. I have all of the DLC for it, and while I have tried in the past to play a bit of the campaigns for 3062 and... Um, well, hell, rogue tech. Uh, I find that my computer is not happy trying to record and play those, either one or the other. Uh, last time I tried to stream one of those, it crashed rather spectacularly. But, as fun as I find those, um, I had a lot of people who said, would you play the campaign through again with all of the DLC installed? So I decided I would give that a shake for you guys. Now... Last time around on this campaign, I did very poorly because I was working like 12 and 16 hour days. I'd get home and instead of sleep, I would play this game and just smash through turns very quickly, very poorly. And I'm not terrible at all games, but to say that I'm competent at them would be a lie. So this is going to be once more with feeling and a number of hours of sleep perhaps greater than last time. So, let's do a new campaign, shall we? Standard campaign. What's a custom? Oh, customize? Yeah, let's see what we can do. What can we do? Oh, that's it. Just make it easier. Oh, and lethality? Yeah, let's just do default settings then. I, I, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind. Let's go ahead and do this, though. Huzzah. By the way, this game is now canon. This game has become canon. The uh, restoration and all that is now part of Battletech, which is the first for any of the games, really. Uh, a lot of the games have skirted canon or, like Mech Assault, been completely non-canonical in terms of their uh, historical reference to the uh, greater Battletech universe. So that's kind of fascinating. I, I kind of want to see more like that, and this is probably the most accurate Battletech game yet made. But here we go, time to watch a... <gasps> Ooh, music. I am Kamea of House Arano. Yay! High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero. No matter what the stories say. Nobody's a fucking hero in Battletech. A hero would have sacrificed more. Compromised less. And would have been named Kerensky. Everyone else was a joke. Would have done better. Eh, you tried. You know this, of course. You were there. Little bit, yeah. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times. About the Star League. A golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. Well, hey. I still let's not know let's not throw Arana accusations here. Thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, probably both, mostly your money, gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. No, it doesn't, but thank you. Whether you believe it... That's up to you. I... yeah, I, I wouldn't believe it. I mean, yeah. 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 
Kind of okay. So here we go. Welcome to the Aurigan Reach. It's a small kingdom in the Rimward periphery. Yeah. Oh, we, here's where my story begins. Uh, da -da, dip. Deep periphery. Let's see. Yeah. Mm hmm. Blackjack Mark 1. BJ1. I did a whole tax talk on it, so, yeah. Let's see. Let's do. Uh, yeah, bankruptcy. There we go. Um, let's see. Intersphere Mercenary. Uh huh. And, uh, mm hmm. Mastiff Montgomery. The last time around, I got really confused. I was like, why are all these people? Look at all these pronouns. He, she, they. It, him, her, who gives a fuck? Kill people. I mean, that's what the setting's about. There's a proper beard. I'm, I'm looking for... Looking for some proper beard. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite thing on the Citadel. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. There we go. Let's let's do this, and then we'll just modify the shit out of him, right? Uh, inner call sign, uh, Tango. No. Um, hmm. Let's come up with a fun one. Um, hmm. Hmm. Now, what's in a name? As Shakespeare was uh, <laughs> trying to tell us, or at least uh, as people have repeated. Let me think. Ah, uh, yes. Your name will be Scrambles uh, in Tex, uh, Texington. There we go. Somebody's got to have a name, right? Can I not? Can I not modify the fuck out of that beard? Oh shit! I hit start over. See, I'm still bad at this. Don't worry about it. The Steiner guys will be screaming. I didn't click Steiner. Bankrupt, and then mercenary, and then yep. Okay. So where is the... Ah, customize. There we go. Makeup. Eyeshadow in combat, I guess. You know? Trying to look your best. Probably not good for the neuro helmet. Probably really bad for the neuro helmet, I would guess. I mean, tattoos I could see. I could definitely see tattoos. Alright, so... Let's do scars. We need some proper... I got uh, caught up in the yeet seat on the way out. There we go. Oh yeah, some proper inner sphere hair. By that, I mean, judging by the neuro helmet standards at this time, everyone would be kind of bald. You'd see, you'd see a lot of bald dudes. Yeah, we'll just do something kind of classically Roman. There we go. Sinister looking. That's in. Come on. There we go. Look at these expressions. Shifty looking fucker. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, that'll do. And uh, let's just go with dark, dark. Yeah, uh, that that'll do just fine. Let's let's fuck with our lighting here. Oh, cool. I can I can change that up. And we'll adjust the camera. There we go. We're, we're trying to make this guy look as best we can. I know some people gave Bear Duel some shit because he was playing in the mod where I uh, provided quite a bit of the uh, voice work. And uh, he was like, who is this text guy? And uh, <laughs> people gave him so much shit. I feel bad for that. Um, I, that I, I don't want people to derive any hate or implied sad, angry feelings from that. My Fifi's were not hurt. I thought it was amusing as all hell. He and I have spoken since. He's a very polite person. Welcome to the periphery. It's 
Centralized feudal rulership. Always not a great idea, but sure, why not? I really like how they did this. Um, it is it is a really interesting way of of using static images to convey a story, and it's something that was really you, you kind of see a lot of that in uh, Ken Burns documentaries, and he does a very good job with it. So here we go, eight fifty three local time. We're we're gonna we're gonna actually think through our turns rather than last time, which was me smashing buttons exhausted. Oh cool, they put in Dead Eye Unther, yes. In battle, speed is life. You go slow, you die. Wish you'd studied more in school, huh? Yeah. Mech Warrior 2 mercenaries uh reference. Really, really weird guy. Really cool guy. Kind of exactly what you'd want for an inner sphere mercenary. So here we go. Command interface initiated. Command interface initiated. All right. Let me adjust my camera here. Good old Blackjack One. Do 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 do. Done. All right. Yep. Thank you. Got it. Yes. Please. So. Scrambles is being told to march and Scrambles show. Say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. There's always more to the job. Come on, that's Intersphere Mercenary 101. I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. Of course the Warrior trust their instincts. You know, it's it's it, there's always an urban mech as the test dummy. Goodbye, Irby. So sorry. And one thing that's fairly inaccurate is even out here in the periphery in this time period, you wouldn't be throwing away mechs. They, they, they would be cardboard cutouts. You, you, wouldn't just, uh, you wouldn't just throw stuff away. The periphery is an interesting place. Alright, so this guy. Oh. Well, time for us to regret all that. It's all gonna go bad, you know. You've already seen this playthrough once. <laughs> I just have to stand up here and dack a dack. And hope Irby doesn't go bananas. Uh, joke. Not a great one. Sorry. I tried. Alright, done and done. Yes, we do. All right, let's get this done. Uh-oh. Jump jets inoperational. Now that's very much true to the periphery. Not everything works very well. And a lot of these war machines are quite old out here. So we're going to go up here and we're going to melee attack because that's what it calls for. Engaging. Exactly. really wish I had his uh, centurion here. I really do wish I did. All right. So, here we go. Ow. All right. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Surely. All right, so. Remember what I told you, things are gonna be fucky. <laughs> things are fucky, Ricky. <laughs> Trailer Park Boys. 
would be a good periphery story. Instead of gunfights, they get into tank and mech fights and then go back to trying to buy their trailer park or buy and sell weed. I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the Council deliberates while our economy falters and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Orano will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! Yeah, and that's one thing, is this is a lot of firepower for a periphery nation, but... It tells a good story, so I will hand wave it away. But they would be lucky if they had a handful of jump ships at all, so even if they decided to move something, it would require a lot of effort. I mean, you have to understand, in the inner sphere in this time period, they're building like two to four jump ships, like a month at most. It's, it's really, really rare. So losing them is a given, but protecting them is everything. And periphery nations and everything often had to make deals with various merchant families that controlled these things in order to get what they wanted. So interstellar uh, conflict is difficult in this time period. It's, it's very, very low key. A lot of the big heavy stuff is in the sphere marching back and forth. And that's the interesting thing about this era of Battletech is it feels like... Uh, almost like uh, armored warfare feudalism. It's a beautiful contradiction of themes, and you end up with something that very much feels both low and high tech at the same time. Command interface initiated. All right, let's see if I'm any better at this. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. But I'm going to try. Oh, a guard post got blowed up. I don't like it. Kid, keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. Surely an accident. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Your people need you. Yeah, in Battle Tank royalty is uh, relatively short-lived unless they're exceptionally beloved or exceptionally ruthless. Boring people don't last long. They're like, I'm a noble princess of some house. Yeah, yeah we'll see about that. We'll see, we'll see how long that lasts. Alright, let's just stomp through this. There's no survivors there, surely. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's it, no one saw that. No one knows what I did. All right, we're gonna have to go down there. I'm gonna lead with a centurion because it's tough. Moving out. Yeah, we're gonna have to put up there. We're gonna have to push through, and then we're gonna engage. But this will be fine. I think they did a very good job selecting starter max. And I know the 3062 Advanced and the Rogue Tech both have a lot of amazing stuff, but I, I find with my current hardware and the memory leaks in the game and the sheer amount of amazing stuff those those add, um, I find my stability is uh, not good enough to both record and play. <laughs> if the roadway is clear, why is your battle mech damaged? No, you're lying to us. Fall back, Command. Get behind us. 
Yeah. You didn't train me to cower rush. You trained me to fight. Just fucking fight. Royalty in this time period are ruthless. I mean, most of them are mech warriors. Or at least have killed a planet or two. Oh, cute. A panther comes in for a little bit of kung fu. Panther's a great solid choice for light mech fuckery. So let's go ahead and maneuver here. And do some shoot in the ass. And, uh, yeah, let's see. What do I want to do? I think at this range we're looking at, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, it makes me feel better. That was a critical hit, lad. I like how he says that was a critical hit. He's like, that was a critical hit. Kind of reminds me of those, uh, back in the day on TV. They had the, um, you know, top five craziest car chases or whatever. And you'd have the guy going, little did he know. He was playing with danger. And then you have a car fly into a wall. Oh, I hate the Kentaro. You can really fuck them up, but... It, nah. The SRM variants are not bad, but... When you get it into an LRM spamming murder buggy, you're just running at 100 miles an hour, constantly firing missiles. Please explode. Sorry, Shadowhawk, but, you know... Yes. All right, and let's try to get a flank shot on this guy here. Let's give him some of the business. I know the AC2s are really not that great at this range, but I'm hoping those medium lasers will help punch in his side armor. Please explode. Nice Thank job, you. One fewer hostile on the board. You got my attention. All right. We're gonna go this one. And then we're just gonna keep shooting him in the side meats, which is where you keep the engine and Roger. other good things like heat sinks. Well, okay, this is an early era. You're not keeping your engine in your side things. I guess I played my hand and showed I played a lot more of 3052 ish, but. Oh. Leave Scrombles alone. See, the people who are dangerous mag pilots, it's, it's, not, it's not the guys with cool names. Uh, the, guys, the guys who are the really awesome mag pilots are not guys named Tank and Razor and Blaster and Murder Face. The, the guys who are the good mag pilots are the guys with goofy names. Like Moose Poop and Scrombles and George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Now, if I can have... Oh. The Royal Guard, they're trying to take me prisoner. Oh, dear. Traitors in the guard. And I fear this is only the beginning. Well, here's the Follow thing. Me. Keep close and remember your training. Things are likely to get ugly between here and there. Here's the thing about Royal Guards and that sort of stuff. As they tend to show loyalty when they're appreciated. Into. Talk to me. And they've, if, if they feel underappreciated is when they tend to act on it. It's what happens with a Praetorian Guard. You gotta treat them nice. You gotta make sure they got what they need. I almost thought that said Rotunda Dealership, not Rotara Township. The Rotunda dealership. Four doors for more whores. Star League Auto. Yeah, but Centurion's a great design. Now, if I could have any mech paint design I would want, I would probably do uh, that, that really badass van art from the 60s, 70s, the 80s. Confirmed. You know, the stuff you see with little small metal bands touring around. You got like a, a wizard fighting a dragon driving a Trans Am. Always solid choices. But in the periphery, I think 90% of your planetary defense forces, militia, and everything else is going to be cheap, old vehicles, hovercrafts, and VTOLs. Mechs are a rarity in the periphery in this time. At least good mechs. Good and functional mechs. 
That's why you have a lot of mercenary units that ply their trade out there, because in reality, a lot of these merc units are part-time pirates, but also part-time armies for people who can't afford a full-time army, so they rent one for dealing with their neighbor. All right, we're going to get up in their face. We're going to keep moving and firing. We're going to try to take down the big boys first, or at the very least, just keep smashing people. All right, let's get that striker back there, because he's got an SRM-6. And the guy in the back with LRMs. You should always splash that guy, just on principle. It's kind of like they say in Shadowrun, geek the mage. No, no. We're too late. We are too late. All right. Here we go. The bastard breached my armor. Yeah, he did a little bit. I'm listening. I'm on my way. And let's go ahead and light that up. Copy that. Another enemy casualty. All right, here he go. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Got to watch out for them crits with close-range submachine gun nonsense. Not submachine gun, machine gun nonsense. But those sounded very anemic. All right, Scorpion, Scrambles, Punch, Scorpion. Boom. I would really have liked to have seen a Mech Commander 3 with these graphics, where you could pause and issue stuff, but maybe also have real time. Well, they're having a bit of a coup here. Alexander! Womp wow. Ah, yes. Indiscriminate artillery versus civilians. Ah, yes. They're having a challenge back and forth. I'll see you hanged for this. Got a new contact on my screen. Hey, look. Attention. It's Dropship. This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions, and you will have me to deal with. Sure. And why did you send crap to make it happen? First rule in a coup, make sure you can actually accomplish your objectives. Second rule in a coup, double what you think you're gonna need, because half the people are gonna call in sick. It's just one of those things in coups. You find a lot of people who are like, yeah, we're gonna have some change, but when it comes down to doing gangsta shit, people are a lot of talk. Yes, a spider doing melee. It's like throwing shopping carts at people. It's more awkward than painful. All right. Let's go over here. Do a little bit of walkie walk for some shoot shoot. And I'm hoping the SRM-6 blanket is going to be something he enjoys putting on. And uh, let's throw in the medium lasers just for fun. There you go. Have some of that. Oh, here comes that cicada, or cicada. I always fuck up saying those things. God, they are fucking loud. All right, we're gonna kick the shit out of this guy. I'm losing armor. That is true. All right, let's move here. Try to reposition, maybe get some glorious back shots on this guy. Cause I think that'll, oof. No, sir. What else we got? What else we got? All right, let's take a look at our other options here. Yeah, that's a little better. That is better with just the medium lasers. All right, let's let's try to. Uh, I mean, this is careful. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, it's all 40s. Let's take it. Just a little spider. Yeah, there we go. Pilot injured. Hopefully that'll give him a little bit of the, uh, give him a little bit of the fuck off. Attention, citizens of Coromadir 6. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. With the unanimous support of the founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own protection, I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units stand down, and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Yeah, yeah. Resist, sure, sure. And you will we'll see. It's a terrible tenoy system. I hate it. I gave him my trust. He was family, but now he's enemy. Welcome to the inner sphere and the periphery. Really not all that different. I mean, war may change, but motives don't. Desire, revenge, all them good things. All right, let's 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 finish this. I know I should have moved. All right. He's almost done. Talk to me. We're going to make sure we continue to maneuver and fire. Let him have it. Oh, man. Take that as a lesson. I don't think he will. I, I think he's realizing he bit off a little more than he could chew, and he's about to become a martyr for a cause he barely understands. But boy, ain't he trying. Mission failed. Oof. Oh. A lucky shot. See, there's my main guy right there. 3,415 days. Oof. Wow. But hey, I mean, that's Battletech for you. The one thing I love about Battletech is uh, it's it's a game that'll drive you nuts in tabletop for the same reason that you'll you'll just absolutely love it. And it's the, the rain Jesus of how things can happen. The shot that shouldn't land, suddenly landing and decapitating a mech, or the, uh, the guy who comes in with all the weapons known to man and then makes a... tries to turn on concrete and has a bit of a slip and falls down and cracks his head or the uh the slug fights you have going back and forth just pounding each other to dirt oh such good stuff i mean i play battletech tabletop infrequently namely because i don't have a great local game store but also many years of working very hard and what have you you end up with a lot less time like than you Kid, than you wish you had for your hobbies. For but I'll say this, I mean, when I do have a chance to play, as I did on uh, Discount 2 Kid, which is over on Colberto's channel, which if you look at the Black Pants Legion main page is over on the right as one of the featured channels, he ran a uh, Battle of 2 Kid um, with the Black Pants Legion, which was really great. Um, it was very kind of him to uh, DM that for us. And we really introduced not only a lot of newer guys into Battletech, but we also let people like me try to get their feet back out from, un, you know, under them and get back into the hobby that we've not enjoyed or been able to enjoy for so very long. And that's been, that's been really fun. Um, that's, that's been really fun. It's, it's always great sharing something with uh, people. Especially something you love. And the setting of Battletech is something I adore, but I've always been a lore hound. But one of the things that I I always find really enjoyable about Battletech is win or lose, there's not a lot of salt. I I rarely, rarely see people get get turbo butt hurt over Battletech. 
I, I see people laugh and clap each other on the shoulder and say, good fucking shot, or that was fucking cool. And then they tell stories about it, like, man, I had him cornered, but he came out swinging and fighting. And it becomes headcanon. It becomes this little piece of lore, this one pilot that's always lucky, or this one guy who always fucks things up. And it becomes this really enjoyable and great experience. It's one of the reasons why I also stopped playing 40k tabletop is, you know, if you're willing to spend the money, you can buy the new cheese army. You know, whether that back in the day, you know, stuff like Raven Wing or, you know, your Forge World models having all sorts of really special crazy stuff to them. And, of course, it's, it's buying, it's buying power. Which a lot of tabletop games are like that, you know, with Codex Creep, but with Battletech, I've always found that even when stuff wasn't balanced, it was still fun. Like, clanner equipment is way broken. Um, but there's a way to balance it out if everyone at the table wants to, or there's a way to play off the early invasion if people want to feel like what it looks like or feels like to get your shit pushed in. Which is still kind of fun in a way, where you realize you're going to be losing, so you're trying to grind the enemy down. Nice job, kid. One fewer hostile on the board. But yeah, Battletech has, has been a long, 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 long love of mine. It's just there was a long period where I didn't play tabletop. And same thing with... Same thing with 40k. I, I, I elected to stop giving Games Workshop money um, after they killed Dark Heresy. I was like, eh, we're done. That's that's where I I pretty much got got tired of them. I want a Shadowhawk. Oh man, melee attacks are a motherfucker in Battle Tech. Armor breach, internal damage. Reading loud and clear. Copy that. Alright, we're gonna back up a little bit so I can dust this guy with some SRMs. Gonna give him a little bit of that razzle-dazzle, you know. Alright, we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna make sure we don't overheat. Doing that sandpapering. Because in Battletech, <laughs> missiles are a sandpapering effect. It's sandblasting, really. He's going to feel that one. There. Traitors in the guard. And I fear this is only the beginning. Now, if I was making a battle tech game, and remember your training. I I think I would absolutely have a little bit of role playing game elements to it. Even if it's very simple by modern standards role playing game elements, even if it's just like Knights of the Old Republic style walking around and talking with people between missions or even as part of missions but this combat I would either have be tabletop like mech commander or quite interestingly enough I, I think mech warrior 5 has the right idea even if it's deeply flawed execution this is a setting that has such a wonderful story but I'm gonna try to keep these guys at range. I know they have an LRM uh, Ray, tank back there, but it's it's just an LRM-5. And it's just an LRM-5 is probably one of the many uh, phrases of regret you will see me say. It's just an LRM-5. What's the worst you can, uh-oh. I'm listening. Yeah, um, some people are gonna doubt. I, I feel that some people are going to doubt the veracity of my statement, where I say Battletech has a lot of wonderful Rain Jesus moments. But I think, I do think that people who have played their fair share of tabletop are, are going to be smiling and nodding and have their own story of, well, I was doing so good and I had all the advantages, and then one failed pilot check later, I hand my victory to my opponent. All right, let's take him down. But yeah, 
I talk a lot about Battletech and my other favorite settings, and I I know that perhaps some of this is old hat uh, to people who listen to the BPL podcast. Which, if you want to find the BPL podcast, I think we're on every fucking platform. Uh, just Google Black Pants Legion podcast, and you'll find it, because uh, we're everywhere. But that's that's where I do talk a lot about sci-fi settings, storytelling, and lore a lot. Um, especially stuff we like and dislike. I tell a lot of different weird stories from my background in that. Um, especially role-playing games, because I, I was a I was a very avid role-playing game guy for a very long time. Then I took kind of a break from it to concentrate on just trying to get by in life. All right, let's blow that guy up. Ooh. This is already going a lot better. Go down. A little bit of rain, Jesus, is good for you. No, no. We're too late. We're always too late. It's battle tag. They're usurping the throne. Yeah, they do that. I mean, legitimate transfers of power in uh, battle tech are not that common in this era. I still think the physics effects in this are a little janky, but they're still pretty cool. I love watching the buildings come apart. Got a new contact on my screen. Attention, all Espinosa forces. This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Yeah, yeah. Fail to follow these instructions, and you will have me. All right, let's go ahead and hit that cicada. Giving him everything I oh, got. ooh, leg destroyed. That is a beautiful, beautiful hit. Punch right through his armor. Knocked down. Yes, that is really what you want in battle tech. It's just good old fashioned knockdown attacks. Knockdown attacks are really where it's at. Running with a lot of ballistic shit is. Uh, Kind of just good policy in battle tech. Just to be able to knock down the big boys. You just made a terrible mistake. Yeah. You you made a you made a boo-boo. So let's go ahead and do this. The game sounds are really quite low. And I'm going to try to correct that, but according to the game audio, I've got it up to 90%, so sometimes some of these things are a little wonky. Uh, no. I don't want to do that. Mm. Hmm. Let's, let's take a look. That's not much better at all. He's acceptable, but let's go ahead and take that off. Get that evasion down. If you had any sense, you'd retreat. They don't. They're, they, they've been promised new jobs with a new regime. So, I mean, they're like, yeah, I mean, if I had sense, I'd do this. But in, in reality, it's, it's, it's about the money. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Let's knock that. No, that's, that's not a great cold shot. Hold on. Let's, mm, let's go ahead and hit him center torso. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Boom. And he didn't stack pole, which is nice. Attention, citizens of Coromadir 6. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. It is Taco Tuesday. Founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own Stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units stand down. Oh shit. You will not be harmed. Resist and you will be fired upon. I like the distortion they put on that, because people often don't do that well when it comes down to PA systems and games. 
He was family. And now he is enemy. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, jump jets. Reporting a critical strike. All right, let's send the blackjack over here. And let's tee off against this guy at Dacca range. The one thing the blackjack does very well, Dacca. He's, he's not having a good day, so let's go ahead and uh, finish him off with a little bit of kung fu fighting. Bye-bye! You need to get off the fucking planet. Don't argue. Uh-oh. New friends have arrived. By friends, I mean uh-oh. Oopsie doodles. Not friends. Yes, I hear you. If there is interest, if if there is interest after this, I will say that I would not put it out of the equation to say that I will try to play through a bit or a, a campaign of some length in Battletech 3062 or in I mean I'll play any mod of it really because I, I know a lot of those mod groups all work together they share resources and they're all really fun people um, and I know that both of those are tailorable experiences you can make them into whatever you like and I think that's really impressive and I've I've played them both uh, on stream and recorded um, the only issue is I've found in recording them, it, it can bog down, at least for my computer. Um, and I've got a lot of RAM, I've got a pretty decent graphics card. I, I just think that they're they're a bit chonky and uh, the Unity engine is uh, a bit memory leaky. Especially in Battletech. Yeah, I, w I would not mind playing either of those packs uh, for a campaign after this. I just wanted to do this once through once more with all the DLC as it was requested by a fan who has said Tex I know you didn't give your best shot on the first one I know you were admittedly very busy and everything else but they said they wanted to see it so I'm I'm more than willing to try that again once more with feeling probably still gonna fuck up just as much but it's still fun ah yes a striker or shall I say, grease stain? Yeah, all right. One medium laser too much. Another enemy casualty. And this is really token resistance. Um, it it really really is. But I I get what they're going for. <laughs> If, if this was a periphery coup, I would say it would be a shitload of tanks, but also a shitload of helicopters and stuff constantly flying around. You'd have different forces declaring allegiance for this and that. I think it would be pretty cool to get into a big fight where you just find one or two factions switch sides or decide that they're not getting involved in this right of secession because they realize either way uh, they're going to wait to see what happens. Just, you know, saying, we go to the highest bidder, what do you offer us? Do whatever you must, Betraya. As you command, my lady. Orders. Affirmative. Ah, Wolverine, good choice. The one thing I don't care for in Battletech is the increasing difficulty. Especially, and I've, I haven't played the mods in a good bit, but this is a game that always needed a second lance, and that would have been a really good opportunity for a drop-in yes, co-op. I think, I think that would have been a phenomenal opportunity for drop-in co-op with your friends. Your friend I'll takes the happen. second lance. Um, I hate it when it's you resource managing, you know, your same four dudes over and over and over again. 
doing your best, uh, withstand three, four, five lances or what have you getting thrown at you. That's that's really really tough. I'll make it happen. All right. The soundtrack to this game, though, quality reminds me a lot of the uh, Dawn of War soundtrack in many ways. Now let's get rid of this laser turret. Yeah, that's right. Get wrecked. Stationary turret defenses in Battletech range between useless and holy god. What the fuck is this? Why is it shooting at me? There's some pretty good ones out there. The Calliope systems are uh, interesting to say the least. So let's try to do a multi-target attack. Yeah. And let's give the uh, LRM tins to B and everything else to A. Affirmative. An AC-10 is a real, real slug thrower at this low level of battle tech. Because everyone likes AC-20 or go fuck yourself, but uh, AC-5s and AC-10s really have their place. Ow. It's a little bit of... a little bit of return fire, but we're still doing pretty good. Tell me what you need. Sounds good. I'm moving. All right, let's try this again. We're going to put the... Um, looks like I can only hit B with indirect fire, which is shitty, but we'll make it work. A little bit of overheat, but it'll be all right. They will, don't worry. Everything's fine. It's just barely understood technology we barely hold on to. Alright. Gotta be very careful. There we go. Heat management. One of the really great tactics of this earlier time period, the lower tech period, is just to try to get your opponent to cook himself. Which does happen. Aye, aye. You do see a lot of people cook themselves. Quite frequently. Especially with the assault mechs. I'm like watching a pilot bake. Take that as a lesson. He's like, no, my fall down. Arg my back. Alright, so let's go ahead and maneuver you over here and let you just chill out. We're just gonna chill out here. We're gonna we're just gonna chill. We're gonna let Scrambles get up here. And go to your do your coup de grace, because coup de gras is not what you think it is. If you've been saying coup de gras, you've been saying it wrong. Don't worry, I only learned this myself a few years ago. Goodbye. Well done. By the way, a campaign like this, or rather a session like this in tabletop, would probably take six hours. It ain't easy. Thank you, Sir Rasu. Thank you both. I won't forget what you've done for me today. I promise you that. Acknowledged. I'm moving. Get, get over there. It's a lot of leopard drop ships. Destroy everyone and everything that stands in your way. Protect the drop ship. Uh oh. Trouble with your blackjack scrambles? Shame. That's been happening to a lot of Royal Guard battle mechs lately. Sabotage. And then, of course, honor comes out because. That's what people do. Mission successful.
I like it. Oh, Battletech, please never change. We're gonna have some fun. And now time for a cutscene. Story time. Story time. And again, I love these little cutscenes. I love the art. I love whoever the fuck painted them. And the scoring is, oh, so good. He's having a bad day here. Look at him. Sad face. It's also a very advanced suit and neuro helmet for the uh, periphery, but, you know, sometimes people just gotta have nice stuff, and you don't want to show them with that giant fishbowl neuro helmet. Because I, I think that would take away from the story, uh, story quite a bit. Ah, so cool. Yeah, I think this is, if the, if this was periphery, you'd have guys going up there and just kicking the shit out of them. Destroying a dropship out here, expensive. Depose noble killed during escape. Such fun times in space. But, you know, one step at a time. Eight hours later. Hey there, don't worry, you're safe now. Markham's Marauders. You rescued me, why? Uh, well, no. So what happens now? Yeah... Well, shit. That's the best answer you can come to sometimes, really. We're gonna go to Canopus. Got a couple of options. All I gotta do is kill some people. A little bit. It's just money, right? Three years later. You can tell what choice he made. It'd be funny if he's like, Nope, I'm getting into the hamburger business. See a need, fill a need. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do our best to continue this series, but uh, yeah, after this next little exposition, we'll uh, I think we'll uh, continue our story. So thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, by God, I think I'll continue this. This has been fun. When we pulled into Cargo Bay and beat a shotgun shells, the QM yelled at me, "Stop a bank on his belt." We wanted some munitions for our glorious valid hunt But found too late that they just hated us We tied with cunts And we're banned from cargo, everyone Banned from cargo just for having a little fun We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war Now Wendy doesn't want us anymore I started as a cargo tech and I had a Cindy's comps So I did what anyone would do and ordered 20 bombs hey, can I But that? then an NG with the welder hit me and set me ablaze So cargo set on fire too when the server lacked for days And we're banned from cargo everyone Banned from cargo just, just for having a little fun we spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now NT doesn't want us anymore. Worked the shift as King Cargo decided to succeed. The cargo techs were sent out to take all the things we need. Foolishly, Sec challenged us and all of them did fall. The only thing that stopped us was that goddamn shuttle call. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round of gearing up and stealing all their war. Now NT doesn't want us anymore. Take it from here, Stagger. I heard those fucking techies were building an engine. 
They didn't heed my warnings, they constructed an SM Just to let them know who really is the chief I cut the power, locked the doors, and now they're all ground beef And we're banned from cargo, everyone Banned from cargo just for having a little fun We spent the whole rap year in up and stealing all their war Now NT doesn't want us anymore Solo! Just for having a little fun We spent the whole ramp year in office Stealing all their war Now when he doesn't want us anymore A pizza party reward enough for all the cargo tax Might as well still work for this Because of the nervous wrecks Any other suggestion just might be a side of scene just another fucking ship on Space Station 15 And we're banned from cargo, everyone Banned from cargo just for having a little fun We spent the whole round here in up and stealing all their own Now when T doesn't want us anymore Because we're job banned Oh, give me a locus where the gravitons focus, where the three body problem is solved. Where the microwaves play down at three degrees K, and the cold virus never evolved. Home, home on the grave. The space debris always collects. We possess, so it seems, two of man's ancient dreams solar power and zero G sense. We heat algae pie, our vacuum is high, our ball bearings are perfectly round. Our horizon is curved, our warheads are mirth, and the kilogram weighs half a pound. Home, home on the grave, where the space debris always collects. We possess, so it seems, through a man's ancient dream. Solar power and zero G sense. If we run out of space for our burgeoning race, no more lemons come left for damage. When we're ready to start, we shall take Mars apart if we just find a big enough red. Home, home on the grave, where the space debris always collects. We possess, so it seems, two of man's greatest dreams, solar power, zero G sets. I'm sick of this place, it's McDonald's in space. Yes, living out here is a bore We'll tell the shiggies don't cry They can kiss me goodbye Cause I'm moving next week to L4 Home, home on the grave Where the space debris always will so it seems, through man's ancient dreams, 
solar power and zero G cell.